So here we are on the NukaDarkRum.com website. This is where you can buy your really cool Nuka Dark Rum. It only costs, apparently according to this website, a total of $80 for this. And what you get with that is you get this really cool Nuka Cola bottle and you get some dark rum with it, supposedly. The bottle looks really cool. At least these pictures make it look really cool. Like that looks really, really nice. But a lot of people, which I'm sure you've seen on YouTube, are making videos about reviews on this thing, and it's not what it, it seems to be. If we come here to uh, Mr. Uh, what's his name, High Tech Check here, you go to full screen it. I was kind of scraping around his video a little bit because he did an unboxing of this uh, Nuka Dark Rum. And if we backpedal here a little bit, let me see, right here. You can see, guys, all this is, it's just a plastic cover that actually goes over the glass bottle itself. So this is not something you can use to actually pour out of. Which I think that's why people are so upset, because the pictures, I do agree, kind of make it a little misleading. But let's see him unbox this now. So let's keep going here. Uh, go right there. Like, look at this quality. So th this, he paid 80 bucks for this. Like, this isn't even a bottle, I'd, this, like, this isn't even like a cover I'd even keep afterwards. It looks really bad. I'm going to pause it here in a second because I just saw something. Let's see if he even notices it too. I mean, like, look at this right here. Like, look at these marks. These should not be here. Like, he, he paid $80 for this. It could be from the styrofoam, I guess, as possible. But that looks like a scratch to me. And he actually just wiped, hang on, he just wiped that one part right there. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's styrofoam. Yeah, it's a styrofoam. That could be styrofoam that's right there too, but I think that was a scratch. I could be wrong though. Okay, okay, right here. Look at this seal. There is no way you are drinking out of this. Absolutely none. I have a strong feeling that thing would just leak. It's not meant to be drank out, but I think that's what people were expecting. So my idea today was to just make our own Nuka-Cola bottle for around five or 10 bucks. I think we can do it for around five because I already have paint sitting here around the house. Um, and what we will be doing is we'll actually be using my 3D printer. We're going to print out a Nuka Cola Quantum bottle, paint it with glow dark paint. Hopefully the glow dark paint works. I don't know if it does. I've had it for quite a while. And see how the results are because I'll spend roughly five ish dollars material wise because it literally costs nothing to 3D print anything. And the paint I already have, so I'm not going to count that in the cost really. Compared to this $80 hunk of plastic you get, plus with the rum, and I can't imagine the rum is also worth 80 bucks or even 70 bucks for that matter. Oh yeah, he's focusing now. He's really focusing right there on that thing. Does he try to even... I was hoping maybe he tried to pour off it. He doesn't even take it out of the container. So with that said, I guess now it's time. Let's try to make our own Nuka-Cola bottle for a lot cheaper and see how it turns out. All right, so here is what we have so far. We have our base. We have the actual like middle part of the bottle, which actually does say Nuka-Cola Quantum on it. It might be a little hard to read, but it does say that the finishing product, obviously you'll be able to read it, will be painted. And then we have these two pieces, which it printed separately. I don't know why, uh, but it's actually like the collar at the top of the bottle. So it'll sit just like that. And then we will have our bottle cap, which did have a little issue with the print. I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera or not, but you can see right there from the plastic, just like, I don't know, I printed really weird. Uh, we'll end up cutting that off anyway, and it'll be sanded down anyway, so it won't be a huge, huge deal. And there actually is... I'm not sure why I printed like that because you wouldn't see it. There actually is gro grooves inside of it as well, which again, all oh, right, there you can kind of see them right there. I don't know why there's grooves because you it's not like an actual usable bottle. But if we take our base and put our bottle on top of that like so, roughly, I mean, obviously this will be glued once we're done. So we have a lot of work to do before that. And then we take our collar, which again, I don't know why the collar printed like this. It was just how it printed. And it goes on top like this. There we go. And then all we have left to do is put our bottle cap on, but do it the right way. So it's gonna look something like that. And it's actually pretty big. Uh, the only thing I had to reference it with is the pair of scissors, I guess. But you can see, you know, based off the size of the scissors here, I mean, you can see how tall it is. It's a pretty big size bottle. Actually, you know what, here, actually, I, have a, I actually do have a water bottle too. So there's a water bottle right there, so you can get a better reference size of it. So now the next step that we have to do now that this is fully printed, this print, by the way, took, I would say, in total for all four parts, I want around 28 to 30 hours in total. Um, the next thing we have to do though is we have to sand it down and here's why. So if we look at this right here, you can kind of see 
you can see where there's just like a bunch of little grooves right here because when these printers print it prints in layers so what we want to do is take sandpaper to sand this down to make it smooth so it's easier to paint so what we're gonna do now is sand down one of the collars just to show you guys the difference hopefully it'll actually pick up on camera I don't know if it actually will I don't have the best camera for this type of stuff uh, but the inside part we actually won't sand this down because that won't be seen just this outside part all right, so it finally is done. I highly doubt this camera is gonna be able to pick up the difference between the two, um, but texture wise, this one that I sanded down is like super, super smooth now. This one's still bumpy. Now the next thing that we could do if I wanted to is I could take like a, a spackle, like a, sp a spray spackle to fill in the actual little, little, little tiny, tiny grooves because they'd make it extremely, extremely smooth. I'm not gonna do that though. I want, I'm really excited to see how this bottle actually turns out when it's done. If it turns out well, I might print another one and actually do like the spray spackle. Cause basically what will have to happen is if we do, if we use a spray spackle, we'll have to sand down all these parts, spray it with spackle, let it dry. We might have to do a second layer possibly, it depends on the grooves and stuff like that. Um, and like where the gaps are and stuff. But then we'll have to sand that down again and then use paint over that. It's a little more work, but the finished product does make it a lot better. At least from what I've done so far. I'm not, I'm not an expert with 3D printers. I just have one that I use for hobbies and stuff, and I thought this would be a really fun thing to do for a video because uh, that dark rum bottle is, was so awful, and I thought I could make something look a little bit better. So just to recap, all we have left to do now is just to continue to sand down the rest of these parts, give them as smooth as possible. I might do the spackle. I don't know for sure. I, I, I don't think I'm going to, but who knows? Well, we'll see how I'm feeling because I want to get this done to show you guys the end procs. I'm really excited to see how it's going to turn out because we like glow in the dark paint and stuff. And then we just got to paint it. We'll paint a few layers on it until it gets dark enough to where it looks good, hopefully, and we'll see what you guys think. All right, guys, so here is the bottle finally painted. What do you guys think from far away before I bring it up close to the camera and you see all the flaws with it? From a distance, I think it actually looks pretty cool. So really quickly, let me explain here. So the, the blue and the yellow for the new Cola Quantum and the, the bottle cap right there, that is supposed to be glow in the dark. I tested it last night. It didn't really work that well, I didn't think, but we'll test it so you guys can see it too. We'll turn off all the lights here in a minute. Um, the purple, I cannot find glow in the dark paint for. So it's just a normal standard purple. But if I bring this close to you guys will see, you guys see those ripples? You guys can kind of see them there. I can't get my finger up there, but those ripples in the bottle, that's because I decided not to use the spackle or like the spray spec, whatever you want to call it, it's just a filler essentially. And it would have filled in all those little grooves right there. So when you sand it down again, it would have been really smooth. I just decided not to do that. It was our first time actually going through fully with gluing and painting and sanding down uh, stuff from the 3D printer. I'm still pretty new with this stuff, but overall I think it turned out pretty well. Is it better than the Nuka Dark bottle? I'm just going to say yes, because I didn't spend, was it like 70 or 80 bucks on it? <laughs> I spent around five roughly as my guess when it comes to the the cost it was to just print the plastic and the paint just wasn't anything either because I already had most of the paint laying around the house. And again for reference here is another water bottle so you guys can see that is roughly lined up almost the same and you guys can see the difference right there. So like it's, it's a pretty tall print like it's it turned out pretty well I'm pretty happy with it. So now let's turn off the lights and let's see what it looks like. Um so this glow in dark paint does not work whatsoever. It's not even glowing. This is some crap. All right, let me turn my monitor back on here. And we'll turn this light back on. So unfortunately, it looks like the glow in the dark paint did not work like I was hoping it would. Maybe I've just had it around too long. I don't know. Maybe the glow in the dark paint has a certain like shelf life. So in all, I think it actually turned out fairly well. If you guys have a better brand for glow in the dark paint, please let me know down below in the comment section. Maybe the one I just have sitting around the house, just the shelf life just expired. I, I really don't know. That's kind of disappointing. I'd love to repaint this thing because I think it'd be really cool if I could have it sit on my desk somewhere or if I could put it in my new computer, which my case is big enough for, which you guys will see uh, in the future here. It will be this month. Basically what's happening is, is I'm waiting for my uh, my new my new camera to arrive because this camera that I'm using right now, I'm moving the bow around because when this thing tries to autofocus sometimes, it gets really blurry. And even right now, like as I'm recording this video, I'm looking at it, like the recording obviously, and it shows it, it it's kind of grainy. Like, I can see like, I don't know. This looks like grain to me. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think down below in the comment section of this. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, there is some other really cool fault things we could print that are a lot bigger than this bottle. Like, for example, we could print off a fat man, and it's huge. It's like life-size. So again, thank you for watching, guys. I will see all of you guys in the next video.